Parkpoint Nuketown and 6v6 face off um Dom. Probably the two best game modes to get these. I just go to the hard point or the objective and throw there it is, smoke screen. One more. You see do you see that? Somebody run through this right now. Yes, that's it, that's it, that's the one, that's the one. We're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. Boom. Another diamond camo. Melee and special is done. We have the diamond sledgehammer. Here's both of them, and we're gonna check them out in game. Man, this thing just looks cool. Like, look, even like the, the stringy bit are golden. I mean, I'm probably not going to use this too much. It is kind of fun sometimes. I mean, yeah, it's pretty nice. And then here it is. The sledgehammer. This thing looks so ridiculous. Once again, I'm probably not going to use this too much, but this thing is just dumb. Why'd that go so far? I can't even lie, though. This thing is beautiful. All right, guys. So as you saw, we did unlock the diamond sledgehammer this thing is absolutely beautiful it's actually just ridiculous i don't know why they made this so i think i'm just gonna use a sniper today take a break from the uh camo grinding because i do already have diamond camo for snipers but the swiss is really good so i do want to work towards it i also just love sniping so we're gonna go into uh i wanted to try out this 12v12 mosh pit we got a ton of different map variety here so Oh, this thing is just so dumb. This thing without the tiger team is such a hit marker machine. I do love it though. I missed out on it when I ended up uh, not being able to play the game. I don't remember which COD game this map is from, but this map is actually pretty solid. Another hit marker, man. See, look at this guy. He's got the tiger team on. He's hitting every single shot. And see that guy wait wait a second hold on i forgot this is cranked hold on cranked with snipers might be disgusting bonk bonk oh my god back to back hit marker bonk Oh my god. I just got spawned Tomahawk. Bonk. Bonk. We won by one point. I haven't played Checkmate in so long, but you know very well if we're playing 12v12, every single person is gonna vote for Nuketown. Four, five, six. Hey man, I get it. I'm still saying with checkmate though. This is gonna be one of the most hectic things I will ever play in this game. Oh, 12v12. Get off the spawn. Thank you. Bonk. 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 This thing is just so much fun. Oh, there we go. We got thrash. Oh, this game mode could actually be really good for aerial score streaks for, um, launchers. Yeah, some hard scoping. I need the headshots, man. Oh, we got armor. I like that. That was nice. Man, that wasn't even audible. To be honest, I mean, I'm probably gonna play a little bit of Warzone, but until Modern Warfare 2 comes out and Warzone 2 comes out, I don't really have an interest in Warzone. I mean, I've never been a big Battle Royale guy. I like the classic multiplayer, but I'll definitely play a bit of Warzone 2. I'm also really interested in the DMZ mode. It's been all but 
confirmed by Activision at this point that it's gonna be in the game. I've never really played Escape from Tarkov or really watched it, but I kind of get the premise of it. I mean, I feel like DMZ mode is gonna do well no matter what, but I just don't know how they're gonna pull it off with Call of Duty. But I'll definitely give that game mode a try. But of course, I'm mostly excited for MW2 in general. I think that if they just take Modern Warfare 2019, add some very solid improvements, they've already been talking about basically reducing camping. Modern Warfare 2019 is a very campy game, and I think as long as they add the right improvements to the game, it could go very well for them. Man, that was almost a collab. No, man, I almost had the bloodthirsty. Red Tiger is so nice. I'm also excited to see what other intel drops they're gonna have for us. At least I'm hoping they're gonna do quite a few until Modern Warfare 2 comes out. We already have two maps revealed, Grand Prix and uh, Farm 18. Bonk. No. Bonk. I do think I'm gonna hop back on Modern Warfare like a little bit before Modern Warfare 2 comes out just to kind of get used to everything. Get used to the way the game looks compared to, you know, Cold War, the movement a little bit. Because I know the movement's gonna be similar, but not exactly the same. At least that's what everybody's been saying. Slide canceling isn't gonna be viable anymore. And overall, it's just gonna feel more like a revamped Modern Warfare 2019 than a brand new game. And my game crashed. That's great. The one thing I'm not excited for is these RPGs. Wish me luck, man. This isn't gonna be fun.